so now the next thing is to display the like sent and like received so for that purpose uh, we will go to our like sent and like received screen now for the time saving we will remove this okay and for the time saving go to the favorite send favorite received select all and copy copy this code from here and come back here to the like send like received also remove this material dot dot okay and empty and then simply paste that favorite send favorite received whole code here on the like send like received screen of course now we will change it change it according to the like send and like received so first of all we have to change its name so select this name right click on it then refactor rename and instead of calling it this as you know this is our like send click on a refactor so you see it is changed to like sent like received now the next thing is our these variables name so select this boolean type variable right click on it refactor rename so we will change it to is like sent clicked okay click on refactor similarly our this one which is favorite sent list so it will be our like sent list and then this one like received list and finally this one will be likes list then comes our methods so first of all let's rename it then we will do the changes for example from here we will rename this to get like list keys like list keys So now we have to change the references name so for example this one is our like sent and then the list name is okay we have to add and then inside the else we have the like received and yeah the rest of the thing will remain the same that is now we are getting the like sent and the like received okay just like we implemented on our favorite sent favorite received the same logic apply here the difference here is that it is for likes and then start displaying it on the user interface as it is the like sent like received so this will be my likes and then this one will be people who liked me and this one is my likes which simply means likes which i sent to other people and this is likes which i received from other people that button and yeah that's it now we are ready to test our application so let's just install the app on our phone so our app is running now and now let's just quickly log in so now if you go to the like list it is empty now as you can see because we have not yet liked any profile so for example if i like julia smith and if i go back to the like list then here i will see that my likes you see julia smith is there for example if i click the like button again so it is unlike so now if i go you can see it is empty now because i unlike back okay i remove my like so you can like now any profile or unlike it back if I like this one let's like this one 
so you can see that these two are inside my like list however if both of these go to their like and click on liked me then there they will see my profile okay as I send them a like however for me it will be showing inside my likes that is like I sent and for them it will be in their received list that is liked me that is for example if Isma Marta is online then Isma Marta, will, Isma Marta will see that liked me which means that who liked Isma Marta so Isma Marta will simply see all that profiles inside here for example I'm going to uninstall this let's install the app again The app is running now. Let's log in as Isma. So now, if Isma go to the like list, then you see that when we have to navigate to liked me. So Isma Marta see that John Parker liked Isma Marta. And of course, is is my what is my Martha wants to like back John Parker, then she can do that. So now, if is my Martha like sent, here you can see. 